Good afternoon, and welcome back to Windy Hill Kennel. If you are a fan and been here before, we're glad to have you. If you're new, I'm glad you found us. So this litter is sold, unfortunately, for you guys that haven't seen us and looking for a schnauzer. Uh, these are schnauzer puppies. These are out of Hazel, and this is her first litter. So these guys are super cute. They're eight weeks old tomorrow. They're going in for their spay and neuters by laser on Monday, and they can start going home on Tuesday. So, um, they are all, there's a blue Merle, which is in front of me. There is a chocolate phantom, which is oop, running into the fence. He's a chocolate and tan phantom. The cream female, which is right there, stays with me. And there's a little bit of a butterscotch color over there on the left. That's the other male, and he is going home. And the female, it just went in the tube that we're keeping. Uh, this is probably the most gorgeous litter I think I've had for a while. I love this litter. I love their coats, their personalities. They're phenomenal. Some of them have blue eyes. Some of them don't. Um, so what I did, Vanessa went through and did uh, microchip numbers for me and their weights. So the little one right here in front of me, oops, that just took off, that's in the slide right now, that's the Wheaton male. And he is 6 pounds, 2.5. Oh, they're going to bark at the dogs. They hear the dogs burning the kennel barking. 8981 is the blue merle with all the spots and speckles. And it is 5 pounds, 15.5 ounces. 9844 is the chocolate phantom, which I think is right below me too. And that is 4 pounds, 13 ounces. And the last one out here is the cream female, which we're keeping. I named her Charmin because she's soft. So, it's pretty bad to name a dog after 12 papers. Uh, Charmin is 5 pounds, 13 ounces. So, that'll give you the skibby on these guys. Oh, 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 there. <laughs> My niece says, don't touch me. Schnauzers are a breed of their own. I'll tell you what, they squabble, they squawk, they argue with each other, and then the next minute they're piled up on top of each other sleeping. If that little guy is smart with his little piece of grass, he will not let anybody see it or they're gonna come attack him for it. Ah. They are so bad. Sorry about that, I just flipped that dial all the way up. This will be your last litter. They're going in on Monday morning to be spayed and neutered and then they will start going home. So, oh, oh, crash and burn. Oh my. Uh, they're cute as can be. They are fat. You can just grab rolls of fat on them. It's crazy how much fat they've got on them. And uh, they love coming out here to play. They are, you have got to burn the energy off on a schnauzer puppy. So if you do not have a fenced in yard, you're going to want to start right off the bat letting this puppy run in your yard without a lish on it. It will not run away from you. Now, if the neighbor's in the yard and he goes, oh, look at the puppy. Yes, the puppy's going to go to the neighbor. Um, okay, we're going to have a, we're gonna, a chase of the zoomies right now. Oh, that one's ducked. I thought he went through the tub, the, tu the tube. I'm probably going to leave him out here for a while this afternoon. It's a little nippy. It's pretty and sunny, but they need to run this energy off. Um, the big thing is, and it's with any puppy, but schnauzers seem to be worse. They need to get out and run their energy off. I love it when he can't get up and he's using all his energy. To... <laughs> oh, there. See, Tag, you're it. Come on, bud, let's play. He's going to go after her in a minute. No, he didn't. I figured she'd come and snip him again and he'd take off after her. Um, oh, that one says I'm down. Oh, nope, that was the attack mode. Oh, there must be a squirrel in the kennel. I'll tell you what, the kennel roars when the, there's a squirrel and it gets behind the kennel. Oh, he just ran and dived and slid through the whole thing. He didn't even slide with his feet down, he just slid on his side. The squirrels get right behind the kennel fence, about maybe a two foot, and they sit there and they flick their tail at the dogs. Oh, it just ticks those dogs off something terrible. Oh, that one's got, they're playing keep away with the leaf. One's got a stick. Oh, now the other one wants a stick. It's keep away time. But anyway, wear the energy off of these. If it's rainy and it's cruddy outside, 
teach these guys to play with a ball right off the bat at this age. That way you can roll it down the hall. Oh, it ran right into the tube. <laughs> you can roll it down the hall and the dog will chase it. And you can also take a drill and drill a hole in the tennis ball and get a piece of nylon cording, make it about 30 foot long and throw the ball and then you can jerk the ball around the yard and the dog will chase it and it wears them out if you don't if you're older you don't want to walk a lot if you don't want to run with the pup you got to think of ways to wear the energy out because you can see this energy level is high they are they are so busy in the house if we don't give them something to do or a bone to chew on they will shred their paper that they've got in their kennel uh, They'll argue with each other more. They'll squabble a lot more. And then it's like, ah, uh, you can just hear it all over the house when they're, they're into it. They've done really good on no bark, no lip. Oh, there he really ticked her off. She went and bit him and he went after her. Uh, if you've got another dog at home, then just be a little cautious when the pup first goes home because your old dog may not want this much energy in his face. <laughs> he just bulldozed his way through. Uh, so you're going to want to make sure that you're there to run inter... Oh my goodness sake, that was a plucky move. You're going to want to run interference with them. I think these guys below me are digging a dirt hole, I think is what they're doing. But they're like, oh yeah, they're eating something. Oh, they're eating grass. They got mouthfuls of grass. Grass, leaves, rabbit poop, sticks, rocks, you name it. These guys are, they're having a vegetarian snack right now. They're just wolfing this grass down. Look at that pup jerk, that grass. That pup has a whole mouthful of grass. You can hear him ripping out the grass. There he goes with his whole mouthful of grass. Ugh. And you can expect a little bit of loose stool once they come out and they eat grass forever and leaves and all kind of junk trying to keep this to where I can keep you in to see everything that's going on in the whole pen, but they're going to dig a hole in my yard to get to the mud. That'll be the next thing. It'll be the mud. So, if you have not booked in with me, please do so. Um, I think everybody's booked in with me for pickup. And the um, if you come and you want to bring a crate with you to put them in I would bring some crate or a wee wee pad or whatever you're going to use what are these guys doing back here they must have a bunch oh they're eating leaves or they're eating grass too I see it in his mouth <laughs> just it's a riot when they go through that tunnel they're such klutzes they've got too much body and too much legs for this age they're not coordinated <laughs> just like that dismount out of the, out of the slide so, anyway, I wanted you to see them, see how they're doing, see their weights. Uh, they've been really good with us in the house, but, oh my gosh, are they active. It is like non-stop in the house, and this is so much nicer. I am, oh, that hurt. Uh, we've really been blessed with this weather, I'll tell you. We've got three kennels set up out here. You can see them kind of in a row, and we put different litters in different kennels. And this makes such a nice place for them to run and play. I know they can't get out. They're safe out here. And I'm not going to bring them in until they're exhausted. They're just going to stay out here and run themselves silly. Then I'm bringing them in. So I hope you've enjoyed their video. Uh, like I said, this will be their last video. And we will see many of you soon. So... If you haven't booked, call me. If you want to just call me or text me just to confirm your pickup time and date and let us check the calendar, that would be awesome. I'm sending out all of your videos today. Um, so you should have those uh, probably tomorrow. In fact, I'm going in the house as soon as I get done with this and sending those out. So let me know tomorrow or this evening late if you don't have it. Um, give me till at least 9 o'clock to get it to you and uh, I'll be gone in the morning for a little while, but you will be able to reach me by text. So have a good week, what's left of it, and uh, 
Sounds like we're gonna have a lot of rain tonight, so this was a great day to get this done so that they could get out here and run their legs off because tomorrow in the rain and the snow, they're not coming out, which, which is a bad thing. Oh, there's two in there. They're, all, they're laying down in the tube at the same time. They can't get out. They love that silly tube. It's a piece of field tile if you're wondering what it is. Uh, I've got about a five foot section. I'm gonna bring it out here for the next time we do videos this well this summer we do a lot of different things in this kennel so it'll be fun that's for sure so have a good week have uh, a safe one and we'll talk to you later